Okay, so it is Saturday morning. Um, I'm not sure of the date, maybe the 27th, 28th. Um, so, yeah, you know, just um, thinking about the comments that my sister and brother-in-law left and just knowing that that is how the rest of my family feels um, and how disgusting that is to think because uh, I'm not lazy. I've never been lazy. I've worked my dick off. Man, I've worked harder than all those cocksuckers put together. Um, so the gaslighting. Um, so I'm just trying to process, you know, uh, I mean, this is to be expected. Um, so just processing through it. Um, it's just so real, you know, uh, in, in like me, I get like that little bit of guilt and shame of, you know, God damn it. You know, why am I putting all this shit out there? Why am I, you know, but I mean, that quickly gets dispelled now because it's obvious that, you know, this is a big issue. Um, much bigger than what I thought it was. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's just so deep, man. Um, and literally everybody's just so busy with their lives. They, they want me to shut up because it's inconvenient for them. <clears throat> and this is how it's always been. <coughs> Everybody's so busy. <clears throat> you know, like I said, I'm a street rat. I'm a gutter rat. I can die and, you know, life goes on. Everybody's so busy. It, it's like I was here. There will be stories. Oh, remember that crazy motherfucker? And, and I'll be gone. And my mom's, this whole thing would just, you know, and that's why I, I'm saying everything's tied in together because, you know, you can't even believe history, guys. Like, like the the leaders of the world are this type of person. You know what I mean? So, like, everything's a fabrication. Everything is a fabrication. Um, what's real? It's all bullshit. And that's why we just... That's why the only solution I'm seeing is to just... You got to quit everything. You got to get away from everything. How can someone like me sit here and suffer and and be in so much pain and supposedly have family members who love and care about me, you know, but then they're able to blow it off as he needs to learn a lesson. I mean, it's, it's unreal. It's unreal how disconnected we've become. And I guess that's the main point now. And what I'm showing is just the, the disconnect, like, People don't even know what love is. People don't even know what caring about somebody is. You know, we've become so accustomed to this system that we just go along, you know? And as, someone, as soon as someone else doesn't go along, they're the enemy because, you know, the system has to keep moving. And if you're just going to quit moving, it's, that's not good. That's not good for the system. Um, <clears throat> yeah, really strange, man. Um, so, okay, so what I want to point out with this is these people are telling me they love me. They're telling me that I matter. They're telling me, you know, all these things, but they were refusing to acknowledge any of this <laughs> because it's too inconvenient. It, it fucks up their whole belief system. They, they, you know, it fucks up everything they believe in. That's what I'm saying. Nobody wants me speaking. Who the fuck wants to hear this shit? <laughs> you know? Um... Yeah, man, it, it is just so wild, like, mm. 
And then people just keep on having kids, you know? Bringing more people into this fucked up world of suffering. You know, we don't even have this world. We, we haven't even answered the questions of where we came from, where are we going after this? We can't, half of you can't even, most of you, 99% of you can't even talk about death. And it's inevitable. It's around every corner. Um, so, and nobody thinks this is weird. <laughs> but they can talk about some celebrity. They can talk about this bullshit, that bullshit, this knowledge. That, I mean, it's sickening, man. It's so sickening. And like, that's where the dissonance, you know, that picture my dr daughter drew, like, it just, the noise is just so loud. It just is noise. And the only safe place is inside, you know? Um, I didn't even, it's just so weird because like, you know, I tried burying this. I mean, I tried, I, I did everything I could. You know, it's just, I kept, every time I hit my head, my childhood, like, like terrible, like <laughs> fight or flight, like death, like around the corner. Um, and I've been hitting my head so much. And then this last time it just, this um, accident last time, just, I mean, really almost put me in the ground, man. Because I've, I've gone as far as I can. I physically have pushed. I've been in so much anguish. Psychologically. Emotionally. Spiritually. You know, mentally, physically. And I just, I've pushed to the end. This is where I'm at. I'm at the end. I'm literally sitting here telling my family that I'm making videos. And my only goal in life is to get through a video so that way if in case I pass and don't make any more that my kids have a blueprint and they got something to go off of and my family's just <laughs> dude that's so crazy and my family's just like ah oh, man you'll be alright <laughs> crazy man heartless dude this is a nasty nasty place we live in bro um terrible I, and i'm ashamed for bringing children into this world i'm ashamed of so much shit i've done it's just i'm so happy I've, I've stopped um i'm very happy i'm i stopped you know um in healing so i'm doing the most important thing the only thing that matters um Again, everything else is distraction. Again, you know, we are so split in our brains and so far away from what humanity is as people in America, at least, that we say we love our family. And when someone is putting out hundreds of hours of videos for, you know, people to understand and get a glimpse into what's going on, people, they don't care, you know, they're just like, man, that's, bro, your, your videos are inconvenient, bro. You need to just shut up, get back to work, get back on the program, you know, <laughs> get back in the group think, man. Come on, come on, <laughs> you fucking shit up. <laughs> oh my God, that's what these people tell me. And just to think, I mean, you know, before when I would try to bring my abuse up to people and they blow it off, I was an alcoholic just, and, and you know, I always had alcohol. I was always halfway drunk by the time I'd even have the balls to even try to bring something like that up. And I'd be shut down. Like you see, I got shut down in those comments by my sister and my brother-in-law. And I'd just be like, fuck it. And I'd grab a liquor bottle and I'd tilt it upside down and take a couple guzzles and be like, fuck, okay, let's talk about something that doesn't matter then, you know? And uh, that's how I've lived my life, man. And it's sad. And um, looking at my daughter is 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 just confirmation for me that there's no going back. Fuck all of you. If you can't understand and you don't care and you're too busy and you have other things to do, then that's what you got to do. And I'm doing what I got to do. I'm healing and... Um, healing from generational abuse, 
um, and just trying to be empathetic and helping my daughter in her healing and my son. <clears throat> You know, that's all I'm doing. That is literally it. That's all I'm doing. And it is such a threat to so many people. It disrupts the whole balance of the system. If that isn't a sure sign that shit is fucked up, guys, I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat>